Boys and Girls Club family and friends. It's Miss Kelly here again, and I'm taking you guys out on another virtual field trip. And today we are in the Chancellorsville Battlefield in Wilderness, just right outside of Locust Grove. Maybe some of you guys have been here before, and maybe you haven't. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. But I'm gonna give everyone some time to kind of pop on and say hello. For those of you guys joining us, please go ahead and leave your name in the comment section below so that way we know you're watching. <sighs> I'm excited to be outside today, guys. It is gorgeous out today. Look at all the sun and the beautiful blue sky. Oh man, today's gonna be a great day. I'm excited to be here and show you guys some of the cool stuff. So where I am currently, there are lots of cool cannons from the Civil War that I'm going to check out with you guys. And there's also a couple of plaques with some information from that time era as well that we're going to go over. I just want to make sure you guys are getting some good academic content as well as fun stuff, right? We can always make our field trips fun and academic. <clears throat> So, now that I've given everyone a little bit of time to kind of pop on, I'd like to play a little trivia game with you guys. I just want to do some simple facts, okay? So if you guys know the answers to any of these questions, please sound off in the comment section below. All right, so since we're going to be talking about the Civil War today, can anybody tell me what year the Civil War started? And if you guys know, go ahead and sound off in the comment section. I'd like to know if you know your stuff, okay? I'll give you a minute to answer. Maybe you guys have started learning about this in school. Maybe some of you haven't yet, and that's okay. But by the time you get to that point, you're going to have a little extra knowledge tucked away in your pocket. So, the Civil War started in 1861. It was a long time ago, right? Now... Can anyone tell me what year the Civil War ended? So it could be kind of tough knowing when certain dates in history start and where they end, but that's okay. So I'll give you guys a minute to answer that. Like I said, if you know the answer, you can go ahead and pop it in the comment section. I'd be excited to see if you guys know your stuff. All right. So what, dear, what year did the Civil War end? Well, it ended in 1865. All right, and I just have one last little question for you guys. One more. Can anybody tell me who the president was during the Civil War time? Now this one might be a little bit easier because I'm sure you guys have heard this president's name so many times in history class and that's, that's a good thing. We want to know who our presidents are. <clears throat> give you a second. Maybe you need to brainstorm a little bit. Maybe you can picture their face, don't know their name, and that's okay. And if you don't know, that's also okay. So, who was the president during the Civil War? Well, that'll be Abraham Lincoln. I'm sure you guys have heard of him before, but that's all right. If you haven't, then now you have a little bit more new information. All right. <clears throat> so, now that I've done a little review with you guys, I want to go ahead and get our virtual field trip started. I'm going to walk over here to some plaques where it discusses some information about some of the slaves that were freed during this battle. How exciting is that? So we're going to read about it. So look at this blue sky behind me. I'm sorry if there's a lot of background noise I'm right near a road. So maybe you guys have been here before or not. So here we go, I'm gonna put my stuff down real quick. All right. So right in front of us here, you guys might be able to see some bricks. It looks like a little foundation, All right? Maybe a foundation to a house. Yeah. So there used to be a house that stood here. And there were a couple slaves that lived here, but after this battle, they were freed and they were able to go back up north with the Union Army where they were free, which is awesome. So it's important that we understand this part of history. So I'm going to show you guys the 
plaque that I'm looking at here. As you can see, this is with association with the National Park Service and Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park. We're talking about the Chancellor Slaves. Their names are unrecorded, their labor, labors are rarely noted. No images of them survive, but slaves outnumber Chancellor family members when Francis Chancellor moved into this house in 1861. So this here is the remnants of that house. How cool is that? This is a fun place to come out to and read a little bit and just to enjoy a little bit outside. So, I'm gonna grab up my stuff again and I'm excited to come over here and show you guys the cannons. That's what I'm excited about. I hope you guys are gonna be able to do something fun outside today. We've got some beautiful sunshine. It feels nice and warm and beautiful. Maybe you guys could, you know, come out here with your family and do something fun today because it is a great day for it. Here we go. I'm excited to show you guys this. So how cool is this, guys? We've got the Civil War era cannons here. Just gonna do a quick walk around with it here. Oh, how cool is that? It's important that when you're here, you're not touching anything, right? Because we don't want to mess up anything from history. It's just like when you go to a museum, you're not allowed to touch anything. It's just cool for you guys to see and it gives you an opportunity to learn as well. I'm gonna walk over to another plaque that's right down here real quick. But I just wanna show you guys how beautiful it is out today right across from a gorgeous field. We've got another cannon right over here. How cool is that? How cool is that? It's not every day you get to see an actual cannon used during the Civil War. But the good news is, is that's right in our own local area. So like I said, I'm kind of in the Locust Grove area, which is not too far away from Orange. So it's really important that we know the history of the area that we live. I don't know about you guys, but I love history so much and I find it fascinating to learn how things became the way they are. All right come over here. I'm gonna put my stuff down real quick. All right, this is gonna show you a little map real quick. So as you can see, we're right here. And this is Route 3 through the Orange Turnpike. And we're kind of in the Chancellorville Wilderness Church area. Right down the road from here, guys, there's a really awesome visitor center that I wish I could take you guys to, but it's closed currently due to the COVID stuff, but that's okay. Maybe when everything opens up, I can take you guys there. There's a really cool visitor center with all kinds of information about the local area. There's also statues. There's tons of trails to walk through the woods there, which is another awesome thing that you can do. But there's so much more history that we can learn about. So much cool history. All right, and I'll tell you why it's important. We've got a plaque here that talks about caring for a hallowed place. And hallowed means, you know, it's kind of sacred. It's important to our history. So it talks about certain rules that you've got to follow, right? We've got to make sure we're not touching the cannons. We're not doing anything that's going to damage the essential parts of our history. There's a big truck that went by. Sorry if that was kind of loud. But we got to make sure we're being safe while we're out here in this area. 
I'm gonna walk over here real quick just because I want you guys to see how beautiful this field is. It would be fun to just kind of, you know, grab a lunch, kind of hang out here in the field. Look at that. Beautiful out here today, guys. Beautiful area. There's lots of traffic out today. Everyone's getting excited because it's warm and sunny. All right. So what I want to do now is just do a quick little recap about what we went over today. So we're just talking about this battlefield here in particular down in Chancellorsville. Chancellorsville Battlefield. And we discussed a couple simple facts about the Civil War. Just want to do a quick review with you guys. So, I hope everyone can remember, now that we've went over it, what year the Civil War started. All right, that happened in what year? Can you guys tell me? In 1861, perfect. All right, and what year did it end? So let's think about it for a second. It was a couple years. It ended in 1865. And the famous president during this time was Abraham Lincoln. Perfect, guys. We also talked about the historical building that was right over this way where we saw some of the bricks to the foundation where a couple slaves were liberated and they were brought up to the north with the Union Army. And we also got to see some really cool cannons out here today. All right. Well, I hope you guys found this interesting and fun and got to learn a little bit about our history today. <clears throat> I hope that you guys keep tuning in to our live sessions. I miss you guys very much and I hope to see you guys soon. Stay happy, healthy, and safe out there guys. Bye!